homeschool moms bandy here with the handmade homeschooler and today we are going to talk all about math curriculum it makes my skin crawl to be honest i never did well in math and when i first started thinking about homeschooling that was the only thing that tripped me up was if i'm not good at math can i teach my kids yes you can and i'm going to show you how i am going to show you how i don't even lift a finger and both my kids have a's in math so first i have two curriculums that we use they're both really good curriculums but they are both different and i will say that they're really for different types of learners and if you've seen some of my older videos i really encourage you to find out what kind of learner your child is because you will have such an easier time picking curriculum based on the type of curriculum it is geared to and how your child learns. So let's take a look at the first one. So first, I am not a professional YouTuber and I will be reaching across. So what do I got for you? The first curriculum I have is math, you see. We did this one first and my youngest one did, um, he did alpha through beta. Yeah, he did alpha and beta. We never got to gamma because we switched, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what this one is like. My oldest did gamma and he did delta as well. Yeah, he did delta and epsilon. So we had, so that in Matthew C world, that's addition, subtraction, fractions, and division. So I have a lot of math over here because what I like to do is because I have children who are on different levels. I have two kids who are three years apart. I typically save my older child's curriculum for my younger child it, just to see if he will take to that. If he doesn't, I sell it and I get new curriculum for my youngest. See how that works? Keeps me from buying a whole lot. So with math, you see this is really for hands-on type of learners and for visual learners. This one comes with your teacher book, which is going to have the instructions for how to do each lesson, and it will have the answers for the worksheets and the tests in the back. You will also get a test booklet. You will get, I don't have them right now, but you will also get a workbook with all of the daily sheets that they do. And then you will also get the DVD. So the DVD just pops right into your DVD player and you'll have a lesson for the week and that will teach them with an actual instructor where where a whiteboard is in front of a class how to do each lesson now with matthew c the only thing that really tripped us up was you learn from start to finish the entire concept so the most so for the year mostly you're doing one concepts so whether that is addition subtraction division whatever so when my oldest got to i want to say fractions he was struggling to remember division because he had done it the previous year public school does more of a comprehensive overview of different concepts this matthew c is the first curriculum i have seen where most of the year you focus on one math concept now every subject and every curriculum is different but this was the first math curriculum that i had seen like that he did well with it until about the middle of fourth grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. And he was having a hard time on his test going back and remembering some of the questions that they would throw in from fourth grade or third grade, you know, the harder concepts from those grades because he wasn't continually doing them throughout the year. They would just kind of throw a random one in on one of his tests that he hadn't done in, you know, six months sometimes. So he was really struggling and he would get a, he would do he would do really great on the concepts that were taught that week, but the ones that they would go back and just review out of the blue, he would bomb those. And it was really frustrating for him because all the things that he had learned that week he was doing great on. So I had talked to some of the local groups. I said, hey, you know, what are you guys using for math? I think I might need a switch. And they suggested teaching textbooks. Now teaching textbooks, this is the old style where you actually got a DVD and you got this handy dandy teacher book here. I have never once opened this book, not once. 
but it does have explained lessons and things like that inside. And I really couldn't tell you much more about it because I've never opened it. <laughs> but old style, you would get that, the, you would get this book and you would also get a DVD and it's like an interactive game with an instructor. Nowadays there is a subscription based thing. It's the exact same thing as the DVD. You just don't need the DVDs. You just log onto a website, which honestly for me, that is so much easier. I don't have to worry about scratch DVDs from, you know, used eBay people. I don't have to worry about keeping track of where all the DVDs are when it's time to pass it down, down to my youngest. So for this, you don't need anything. You just need the subscription to teaching textbooks. You log in and you have a, a daily lesson every single day. And at the beginning of each day, they will go over the concept that they will be learning. And it's an interactive type of lesson where the kids actually type in their answers. And if they're wrong, they explain why they're wrong. If they're struggling, they give them hints. They have little avatars up in the corner that also interact with them, which is really cute. My kids love it, and for them, it's the closest thing that they have to a video game. So they both are really eager to do it. They both have A's in teaching textbooks, and for us, we have to do the CAT exam at the end of the year. And for us, the kids have been very doing very, very well with the CAT exam with teaching textbooks because teaching textbooks is kind of more like the public school without the common core just an fyi um teaching textbooks is like public school without common core but they teach the overview comprehensive type of units rather than just one subject so my kids have done extremely well with that and they don't have the fear that oh gosh what if they put in something that i haven't done in a year on my end of year exam and no, those end of year tests are not everything, but it does stress my kids out when they see something on there that they haven't done in a while or that they've never done. So I would rather have them go in confident than go in worried, and I'm sure you would too. So that works out well for us as far as testing. I did not have the kids test any year that we did Matthew C, so I can't really um, say anything much to that. Math, you see, also has manipulatives that are like big Legos. They don't really connect together, but they represent different, you know, tens, ones. They represent different things like that. Um, and they also have another pack for um, fractions as well. So those are the two units that are, those are the two curriculums I have used. And teaching textbooks is how I teach math without ever teaching math. So if you are math shy like I am, totally hands down recommend teaching textbooks. It has saved my life. They also keep all of my grades for me. They automatically grade every assignment and put it into a, um, an area for the parents and for the kids. So they already know. So as soon as they are done with an assignment or a test, they'll come running out and tell me what their grade is. Super, super easy. I never have to do anything and I have never had to explain one concept in teaching textbooks. Yes, <laughs> I am very serious. They have very, very rarely had a problem with it because typically when they run into a problem, teaching textbooks intervenes and helps and gives them hints, which is great. So if you're wondering which one to use, those are an overview of the two that I have used. I have not used Saxon or any of the others. I have just used these two, so I can only tell you guys about these two today. But if you're wondering what to use and you wanna go with easy, I recommend teaching textbooks. If you have a child that is more of a visual hands-on child, I totally recommend teaching, or I recommend Matthew C. Also with this, um, teaching textbooks I think starts at third grade. So Matthew C is great for um, kindergarten, first and second, just an FYI on that. And um, both of my kids did it in the younger grades. My youngest did it for kindergarten first and second and we had no problems at all with it. And he really liked the manipulatives, especially as, as a young student being able to use the manipulatives. It was great for him to be able to have that visual. So I hope that helps you guys get a overview of these two math curriculums that are very big in homeschool world. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll do my best to get you guys an answer. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you in our next video.